Hello and welcome to our short introduction of the Gerbil user interface. Here we opened a multispectral image that has 31 bands in the visible wavelength range. On the right you see a true color representation of the image computed from multispectral data. On the top you see a single band display, in this case it is the band at 400 nanometers in the blue range. On the left we see a new representation of the image based on parallel coordinates. In this display you can see the spectra from all image pixels at once. In our case it ranges from 400 to 700 nanometers. Here we can select single bands to be depicted on the right hand side. For example here we see bands from the red range and here from the green range. You can instantly see the contribution of a pixel in the single band to the spectra on the left hand side. In the spectral distribution view we can also put a highlight on specific spectra which observe a specific intensity in a single band. With that we can instantly find different materials in the scene and explore the scene interactively. For example, here we can grab the green pepper. Here we grab the grayscale checker which was used during image capture for calibration. That is why we see these straight lines in the distribution. We can also color code the spectral view in this case it is done based on true color values. We could also do it based on PCA or other false coloring methods. Next, we define a region of interest to explore a specific image area without the clutter from all the other spectra. By using a region of interest, we can also load and process very large images. While browsing through the spectra, we see a lot of geometry effects. The spectral gradient spectrum provides better separation of material and lighting effects as compared to geometry. Looking through the different spectral gradient bands, we see that they provide more homogeneous regions within a specific albedo. We can also use highlights in this view and it is easy to grab specific materials because they are well separated in this representation. also shadow regions, etc. Now we use a more sophisticated highlighting method that is limiting on a wider range of values in several bands. We can simply play around with that until we find a specific subset of pixels we are interested in. So here you can see a very nice segmentation of the two red peppers and their interreflections. Based on this result we would like to further investigate. So what we can do now is we add these pixels to a color label. In this case it's green. Here we can see that there are actually two clusters part of our label. So we go on and find a separation of these two clusters. We continue working on the spectral gradient but we could also do this on the original image spectra or for example on the PCA distribution. Now we found that we can obtain a clear separation of these two clusters in only one band. Going on, we have another color label to compare the clusters. We restrict the visible data to the labeled data to get a clearer view. Now it is easy to compare the spectra and we can see that you observe two different albedos. The reason is that on the top we have an organic pepper while the pepper on the bottom is painted plastic. The next point interesting to us is the interreflection of the top pepper to another pepper. To further investigate this, we can use the supervised segmentation feature. With the left mouse button, we set positive seed points. With the right mouse button, we set negative seeds. Based on that, we obtain a clear segmentation based on the spatial layout of the scene. Thank you for watching this short introduction to the core interactive inspection features of Gerbil.